Hi, I'm Sean Carruthers, and welcome to How Do I on Butterscotch.com. This series, we're taking a look at the new iOS 4.2 update for the iPad. In this episode specifically, we're going to show you how to get content from your iPad over to your Apple TV and your big screen TV, or to a set of speakers using the Airport Express. With the iPad, of course, you can play movies, but if you want to actually transfer what you're watching on the iPad over to your big screen TV, you can actually use AirPlay. First trick is to make sure that your iPad and the Apple TV are on the same network. So go to your Apple TV, check to see what the network is, then go to your iPad and make sure you're connected to the same network from the settings menu. Then, when you're playing a movie, you'll have the regular play controls, but there should also be an icon indicating AirPlay. When you click on the AirPlay icon, a list of options as to destinations you can actually send the content to will appear. So click the icon, choose the Apple TV option, and the content will start to transfer over to the Apple TV for streaming onto your television. If it's high definition content, this may actually take a little bit for it to kick in on the TV because it needs to transfer and start to buffer. When the content starts playing on your TV, you can actually use the iPad as a remote control. So you can play and pause. You can scrub back and forwards through the content using the timeline displayed on the iPad. You can choose to do other things on the iPad while you're watching on the TV, or you can shut the iPad off completely and control the Apple TV using the Apple TV's remote. AirPlay can also be used to transfer music from your iPad to another location in the house. So you can send it to the Apple TV if you want, but if you have an Airport Express that has speakers plugged into it, you can use it to transfer music to that. Again, get your music content playing on the iPad, then choose the AirPlay icon, and then instead of choosing the Apple TV, choose the name of your Airport Express. In this case, we've called it AirPlay. Again, it'll take a second for it to move over from the iPad to the Airport Express, but then you can use the volume control on the speakers, and you can continue to use the iPad as a remote control for the content. That's a look at the AirPlay functionality on the iPad running iOS 4.2. Don't forget to check out the other parts in this series where we show you other features in the new iOS 4.2 update. And don't forget to check out the show notes for this and the other parts in this series at Butterscotch.com.